Welcome one and all in here, out there, all around the world to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. And we, ladies and gentlemen, oh, it feels good to be back. It feels good to be with all of you again here in the Ed Sullivan Theater because after the first few months of the strike, Evie refused to keep chanting my name. <laughs> but now the writer strike is over with a new contract that includes protections against AI, cost of living increases, better pay, better pay for streaming. Plus, thanks to the picket lines, my writers got fresh air and sunshine, and they do not care for that. Now they're back safely in their joke holes. <laughs> doing what they do best, making my prompter word screen full of good and ha-ha. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Right and, uh, <laughs> good to have you back. It's been, it's been a long time since our last Late Show. We looked at the calendar today and check my math on this. I believe we have been off the air for 154 indictments. <laughs> Is that right? Okay. Roughly. Is that right? Roughly. Ballpark it? Yeah. Ballpark it? Ballpark it that one? It was a crazy summer to be off. <laughs> it was just packed with events. And obviously, it would be stupid to try to recap everything that happened over the last five months. So here we go. <laughs> starting... Starting with May. At age 74, Prince Charles finally got his first job, and the dress code was insane casual. <laughs> even, even for Bennigan's, that's a lot of flair. <laughs> also in May, a bunch of orcas attacked yachts, Martha Stewart did the swimsuit issue, and Russia banned America's late-night hosts, including me, but for some reason, they did not ban my friend, <laughs> Jimmy Fallon. I'm guessing because of Jimmy's popular segment, Slow Jam the Borscht. <laughs> then in June, wildfires in uh, Canada sent giant plumes of smoke down the East Coast, turning New York's air into Satan's butthole. <laughs> as opposed to New York's normal air, actual butthole. <laughs> On June 8th, June 8th, uh, I really, really w missed having a show because that was the day Donald Trump was hit with a 37-count indictment for hoarding <laughs> national secrets. And we saw, we saw some unbelievable photos of where he stored them next to a Mar-a-Lago guest toilet. Look at that. He left the launch codes in the splash zone. Can you imagine using that bathroom? We're out of toilet paper! Wait a second, never mind. I'll just make a two-ply out of Syrian troop movements. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. On June 23rd... On June 23rd, there was an attempted coup in Russia by Wagner Group founder and Pope Francis's evil twin... <laughs> Yevgeny Prigozhin. It briefly looked like the coup might succeed, but in the end, Putin and Prigozhin kissed and blew up. Because <laughs> just two months later, and I'm sure totally unrelated, Prigozhin's plane exploded in midair. Imagine sitting in coach. <laughs> and seeing the guy who tried to overthrow Putin walking down the aisle. <laughs> I'd be jamming on that flight attendant call button. Excuse me, miss, is the diarrhea plane still available? <laughs> What? When was that? What month was that? Oh, yeah. was that recently, the diarrhea yeah. plane? That was... <laughs> In July, the Earth kept breaking heat records. The actors went on strike, making the picket lines a little hotter. They found cocaine at the White House, just in time for a massive blockbuster weekend for Barbie and Oppenheimer. The two movies seem unrelated, but it turns out J. Robert Oppenheimer also had no genitals. <laughs> it's... <laughs> just... <laughs> Wrong way. From that setup <laughs> to that payoff, just blown off at the Trinity site. And, but oh, now it's sad? <laughs> there was some smaller news aliens are real. A <laughs> former military intelligence officer testified to Congress that the U.S. government has seen UFOs and has likely been aware of non human activity since the 1930s, which explains the popular vaudeville duo Laurel and Zorgon. <laughs> Oh, speaking of aliens, uh, Elon Musk, in, <laughs> in July, 
And in July... Oh. Thank you. Very nice. In July, he rebanded Twitter as X, to which the world replied, Why? <laughs> then, on August 1st, special counsel Jack Smith indicted the former president yet again... <laughs> In a case, in a case alleging that January 6th was fueled by lies from Trump. That's right, January 6th was brought to you by its two sponsors, Trump's lies and recent divorce. <laughs> recent divorce, storm the Capitol. That'll show Brenda. <laughs> then Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg almost had an MMA fight. COVID made a comeback, and we got another round of Trump indictments, this time in Georgia, for election interference. On August 24th, <laughs> Trump was arrested at the Fulton County Jail, and for the very first time, we got a mug shot. Yes! <laughs> that is one anger-glazed ham. <laughs> now, I tried to match that face. I tried to make my face match that face for a joke, but I could never get it quite as close as my head writer, Ariel Dumas. <laughs> really good. Good Spooky. Good to win. Beautiful girl. Of course, Trump never passes up a chance to grift a buck, so he immediately began selling T-shirts, posters, coffee mugs, and even a beer koozie with the mugshot and the slogan, Never Surrender. Quick reminder, that mugshot was taken the day Trump surrendered. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a mixed message. Reminds me of the time Nancy Reagan sold Just Say No T-shirts with a picture of her doing a line of coke off of Gorbachev's forehead. <laughs> now... Did that happen? That happened, right? <laughs> now, this case is the one where Trump and his co-conspirators were charged with trying to steal the election in Georgia under an area of law called the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, or RICO. Which brings me to my new legal segment... That's all the time we have for that segment. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. Now, there's nothing in the rule book that says a convict can't be president. So, and this is true, if he wins, he might be able to veto bills from cell block A. I'm sure you're asking, how would he even get the veto pen in there? Well, let's just say on visitation days, Eric will be walking funny. <laughs> mm-hmm. Dad! I, I, I should have used a ballpoint. <laughs> then, in mid-September, Mexico's Congress also had a hearing on UFOs and unveiled what they said were alien bodies. Here they are. There you go. That is so sad. Someone forgot to water E.T. <laughs> that, I know, it is sad. It's sad. That same day, we learned that Lauren Boebert got kicked out of a touring production of Beetlejuice after officials reported she was causing a disturbance, which turns out was code for yanking her date's crank at a family-friendly show. Wow. According to witnesses, she was apparently trying to start him like a lawnmower. Come on. Come on. The choke. That was the choke. <laughs> Pulling the choke out. You know what's up? Yeah. Get the cho you gotta wow. get the choke out before you... Wow. Before you before wow. One foot up. Get one foot up. <laughs> get a handful. <laughs> Tell the choke out. And then the choke back in. Oh, no. Or you'll... You don't put the choke back in, you'll, you'll flood him. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of getting caught with your hand in, let's say, the cookie jar, New Jersey Senator and Business Basketball, Bob Menendez. Recently, Senator Menendez and his wife were indicted on federal corruption charges for allegedly taking bribes in exchange for assisting the government of Egypt. Prosecutors are describing the Egyptian bribes as... a pyramid scheme. <laughs> we're back, baby! We're back!
please, please. 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 <laughs> when the FBI raided his house, they found more than $500,000 in cash stuffed into envelopes and hidden in closets, a safe, and even stuffed in the pocket of a jacket they found in his home. That's always a nice feeling when you slip your hand into the pocket of a coat. Yeah. You haven't worn in a while and you find half a million dollar in bribes. <laughs> Ooh, and a Jolly Rancher. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. <laughs> Neil DeGrasse Tyson is here. And we'll have a special performance by our own Louis Cato.